house fighter. Changing mag. I got shot. The guy in the window Changing is gonna be annoying if you don't get rid of it. Hit. It's a success. Hey guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today my season 8 loadouts for ranked multiplayer. I didn't do a season 8 loadout video because there was no real balance change since season 7. I pretty much used the same loadouts but I did make a few subtle changes and you guys been asking pretty much every day what loadouts I'm using in season 8. So I'm going to share with you guys today my top 5 loadouts for ranked multiplayer. Before we start make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily COD Mobile videos. Let's get into it. So first of all I don't play that much ranked multiplayer guys just enough to get legendary every season and I play when it's the world championship qualifiers and as you can see I didn't even play one game since my last qualifiers so it's been a few days I just got what I needed to do to qualify get the rewards but then back to the grind I do the challenges in public games uh, I do a lot of battle royale and stuff like that so yeah but still what's been working for me maybe it's gonna work for you so let's get into it this is what I used for the last qualifiers fires so i'm just gonna show the five loadouts real quick then i'm gonna explain so if you guys just want to see uh loadout number one most of the time using smg loadouts last season it was uh, qq9 when it came out i wanted to try i did like the qq9 quite a bit i'm back to the core deck this season uh loadout number two and number three i'm using ars mostly for objectives so domination and hardpoint uh the new hbr a3 persisted the free hbr skin but I, I like a lot of ARs. You can use the 117 if you still like. The KN44 is pretty much uh, the best AR right now, uh, what people say at least. I'm using the BK57 still on my second AR loadout, mostly for hardpoint. Uh, then I have a PDW loadout for search and destroy. Always been using that for many, many seasons. And then uh, sniper loadout, you guys should always use at least one sniper loadout for many situations so let's get into the loadouts one by one and explain my decisions and the changes since season seven so back with the cordite is a very very consistent smg very easy to use some guys say it takes no skill to use a cordite there's a free-to-play version i'm using the zero g here but yeah so mostly for i use the smg rushing loadouts mostly for team that match i like to rush and be able to reposition around the map and that's why I use the lightweight perk here for faster movement. And SMGs overall, they have fast movement speed, good mobility. Uh, I'm using Ghost on that one. Sometimes when with the QQ9 or other SMGs, I like to use Toughness. But the Cordai doesn't have that much recoil. So it's okay to use Ghost if you want to. So you don't appear on the minimap when you're not shooting. My attachments on the Cordai, Quick Draw, Grip, Extended Mag. Some guys say you don't need Grip, but I like to use it. Secondary weapon, I love still uh, the SMRS. Some guys say it's outdated, but it's versatile. You can use it to destroy the score streaks. It's always good. Now, lots of questions on why I don't use trophy system. Uh, because it's team that match and I move always in team that match. I don't camp. I don't stay on the same spot. So I feel trophy system is kind of useless for me. It would be a dead attachment or a dead uh, equipment. So sometimes I use concussions, sometimes I use EMP. EMP is good to destroy score streaks also. It can be good. Some guys say it works against Goliath. I didn't try it yet, but uh, yeah. And Annihilator, probably the best operator right now. So Annihilator will give you many kills, more than one usually, easy kills, very, very strong. And then again, Dead Silence. Uh, almost always, since forever, I use Dead Silence in all my rank loadouts. So that's pretty much it for loadout number one. SMG rushing loadout for team that match most of the time. And you guys can use your favorite SMG here. PDW is great. QQ9 is great. Whatever you like, guys. It's not just about the weapon. I say that very often. It's about the loadout overall. All right, now loadout number two, HBR or whatever you like. Uh, definitely KN44 if you like it. Uh, with the transform shield now, the transform shield is amazing for domination not enough players use it it's very good to have at least one on the team uh, i see uh, on some maps when you go around and, and try to capture c it's gonna protect you from people trying to shoot you at long range and it's gonna give you a huge advantage now one more tip guys for uh, objective game modes i use that on hard point and domination 
the skin guys use a rare skin the blue rarity even if you like epics or uncommon skins with, because they're beautiful for rank multiplayer i suggest you use the blue rarity because the rare ars they have this perk guys respawning briefly increase your movement speed so you're gonna run faster when you spawn and you respawn for objective game modes guys it's insanely overpowered it's very very big it's a huge advantage because you can get back into the action back to where you want to be much faster so the increased speed is quite noticeable and it's kind of a long boost also in my opinion so i only use rare ars now in objective game modes uh in ranked and yeah whatever you like like i said kn44 is good uh the new one the drh hbr i really love it for real and i like the bk57 so use what you like i'm using the smoke grenade here it's gonna help also cross or, or capture objectives and then uh quick draw always i'm using silencer and ghost on that one i really love it uh because when you have b in domination you can go around the map try to flank try to cut off uh the opponent so with ghost and silencer uh it's gonna help you go unnoticed now the transform shield of course i've been using it for quite a few seasons and i really love it even more i'm starting to use it now uh, in hardpoint and that's the change I made this season on my loadout number three So I have two loadouts with the shield now one for hardpoint one for domination And on that one I'm using the trophy system because in hardpoint I feel you stay at the same place sometime longer trying to keep the hardpoint and the trophy system is gonna help more But in domination I like the smoke grenade because it's gonna have more versatility so These two loadouts are pretty similar guys except for maybe uh the tactical grenade i'm using dead silence and ghost on both so guys once again you don't have to copy that but it gives you an idea why bk57 just because i love it guys but once again use whatever you like here now loadout number four now, i've been using the pdw for quite a few seasons in search guys i love it i love the fast time to kill at close range compared to other choices uh, once again quick draw and agile because in search and destroy it's gonna make a difference if you're the first to shoot and you're the first to kill you only have one life you don't respawn in search so it's much more important and this is the reason also why i use uh hardwired hardwired you don't want to die to trip mines search and destroy it's going to make a huge difference and so many times in search i happen to see a trip mine and say oh my god i would be dead right now if i didn't have the hardwire perk uh, once again dead silence smoke grenade to play tricks but also to defuse or or plant the bomb sometimes uh, I think smoke is the best option. Uh, the operator doesn't matter because you're not going to use it. And I'm using a pistol here with silencer. Once again, silencer and search. You don't want to appear on the minimap. It's going to make a difference. And the sniper loadout is the same I've been using for a few seasons. Once again, agile, toughness, dead silence. I'm using suppressor and stock and a pistol. So uh, yeah, and trip mines. It's my only loadout with trip mines. I use frag grenades everywhere. I love frag grenades you have a lot of control you can cook it release when you want but uh the trip mine mostly with the sniper because uh with the snipers i'm less gonna be running around the map like le less likely at least and the trip mine can be um in a specific spot to protect you uh from people coming for you right and especially if you've been staying at the same spot for a while they're gonna start coming for you so guys, that's pretty much it for the Season 8 loadouts. Not a lot of changes, but still quite a few uh, subtle changes. And I hope you guys like uh, the loadouts. Leave a comment below if you're using some of these loadouts, how it's been working for you. Cannot wait to read your comments. And let me know in the comments what's your favorite AR also. Like I said, I love them. Uh, I'm using the HBR. I'm using the BK57. Some guys say, why you use that? There's so many better ARs. Yeah, sure. KN44, go for it, guys. You can use KN44 if you like it. It's just I never got used to it. And the DRH is still quite new. I don't know what I think about it yet. It's pretty powerful at close range. But if you're going to miss your shots at long range, uh, the time to kill is going to suffer quite a bit. So anyways, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helps. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily cut mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.